Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Nav Viking coffee mug tutorials. Um, I wanted to continue on the service management uh, demo that I was doing. Um, so what's going on right now is that we um, we have coffee machines that we sell and service and uh, what we want to do is actually sell a contract that gives 50% discount on all parts and labor uh, when we're servicing the coffee machine. So NAV supports this and uh, right now I'm logged in as a dispatcher um, in the customer service department. So this is the service management of NAV and I created a demo, a demo just before this one that goes through creating service orders. So what I'm going to do today is create a service contract. Um, if I go over here into service contracts, I get a list of all service contracts in the system. Um, and I'm just going to hit new on this one and create a new one. So I just hit enter and it asks me if I want to use a contract template. I say yes. And in this case, um, this is a prepaid contract and uh, I'm going to just put in here for prepaid contract for hardware. All right. And we are servicing the Canon group, surprisingly. And uh, so the service item that I am going to put on this contract is a coffee machine. It's uh, number 43. So this is a service item list. And I could actually put in uh, inventory as well. But in this case, I'm just using a service item. Service item is not the same thing as your inventory. It is a separate list, serialized usually, uh, list of serviceable items. So I'll just hit OK on that. And now the line value in here is how much annually the customer is going to be paying for this contract. So I'm going to say that this is going to cost uh, $500 annually um, and that's it and you can see here um, there are more information on the service there's more information on the service contract you know what account group it is um, if there's any ship tos what service zones the service period if what response time is there etc etc so um, this is good enough for this line. So what I'm going to do now is set up the discounts. I go up here in service discounts and it allows me to put in the type. So I'm actually going to do for any type of item. So I just skip the uh, the item group selection here. I'll put 50% discount. And I also put any type of resource. I'll put 50%. Okay, so okay, now the service contract is set. In order to actually activate the contract, um, we have to sign it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign the contract. Yes, and now it does something interesting. So it says, hey, okay, it's a prepaid contract uh, and it's monthly. So we need to bill the customer for uh, today's date until the end of the month um, because he's prepaying a month ahead and it's asking whether you want to do that or not. I'm going to say yes and now a service invoice has been created. Okay so I go out of my service contract and I'm going to go here into service invoices and take a look at this invoice and here I can see that there is a service uh, invoice relating to our service contract 9 for this particular coffee machine and it's saying that we should be billing $9.40 a little, uh, 
little bit over 40 cents for um, for the few days that are left of the month. And OK, that's great. So I'm going to go ahead and post that. And it's been posted. Do I want to open it? No, I'll just go straight here. OK, so uh, let's go ahead and create a service order. I go into service orders and the customer calls in and says, hey, I that coffee machine uh, broke down. Can you please come over and help us with that? No problem. So I'm going to say here, the coffee machine broken. The Canon group is like so. And which service item is it? It's the 43 coffee machine. So it comes on here. Uh, and now I showed before how you can actually go through posting the service order, etc. So I'm not going to go into detail on that. But I wanted to show you that this comes up on a service contract right here. And that should mean that any labor and parts should get 50% discount. So let's go ahead and lock the uh, labor. So if I go into line and service item worksheet where the labor is logged and or um, parts. I'll put in here resource and Linda is the person who went over there. Uh, she used uh, four hours to fix this. Her price is $19 and you can see that already the system picks up a 50% discount because this was on a service contract. Now, so you can see that the service contract is um, picking up discounts and it's also setting up a billing schedule. And there are more things that can be done on the service contract. Uh, you can monitor the profit loss, etc. Uh, so you can probably investigate that by yourself. But so this is kind of getting started on service contracts. And I hope you got something out of it. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions, um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.